it's Nick with Sweetwater here, and today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at this powerful little unit to my left, the Superblock UK made by our Canadian chums over at Quilter. What is it exactly? Well, in a nutshell, it's quite literally a guitar head and pedal form as it can drive a cabinet all by itself. No other amplifier required or necessary. Intrigued? Yeah, me too. Let's check out more. <laughs> To be exact, the Superblock UK is three amps in one, and you actually heard all three voicings being used in my intro. Also, when plugged into a cabinet, this green unit can kick out enough juice to sound and behave exactly like a 25 watt tube amp, which, believe me, is pretty darned loud. In fact, unless your drummer hits as hard as the late great John Bonham, it's a giggable loud. Trust me, I'm a doctor. This unit's also got built-in reverb, a limited control, an effects loop, and an XLR output with a couple of built-in cab sim options. More about that good stuff in a minute. The three amp voicings I just mentioned that the Superblock UK emulates are, wait for it, all British, as the unit's name suggests. Said trio of amps are labeled as follows on the Quilter three-way mini toggle voice switch. 1979 JMP, AC Normal, and AC Top. So as you've guessed, my friend, we have a choice of one Marshall and two Vox voicings. The Superblock's manual describes the 1979 JMP voicing as an iconic high-gain British amp. My educated cough-cough guess is therefore it's based on a late 70s pre-JCM 800 Master Volume 2203, hence the JMP and also 1979. As for the Vox voicings, well, in my humble opinion, they're far beyond obvious, namely either the normal or top boost channels of an AC30. Here's what said three options sound like with the gain set at 12 o'clock. First up, the JMP. <laughs> Next up, AC Norm. And last, but certainly not least, AC Top. The difference between the AC Norm and AC Top sounds can sometimes seem very slight or subtle on certain things. That said, you can really feel it because the AC Top option has, wait for it, more top and snap to it. Here's what I mean. That was the normal setting. Now the same exact lick, but with the top setting. Yes, sir, I can definitely feel and hear the difference when playing those two licks back to back, first with normal, then with the AC top setting, as already stated. And as the name suggests, AC top has uh, more top. <laughs> Yep, the AC top voicing definitely conjures up those famous Vox jangly highs. The controls on the Superblock UK are the usual suspects, with the aforementioned limiter and reverb controls thrown in for good measure. So going from left to right, we have the following. Gain, limiter, bass, middle, treble, reverb, and master. The unit also has a trio of three-way mini toggle switches. Once again, going from right to left, we have the following. Firstly, the three-way voicing switch we've already discussed, then a three-way cab sim switch, and last, but certainly not least, the power switch, which goes from off to on via standby. As for inputs and outputs, we have a total of six, and they are as follows. Guitar input then the send and return jacks for the Superblock's built-in effects loop, a headphone output for silent practice that carries the cab sim signal, a speaker output, and then finally, on top of the unit, 
the XLR lineout for the cab sim signal. <laughs> Now, as its name suggests, the limiter control limits the output signal's level. The manual's description of what the control does is pretty neat, so here it is. The limiter control. This acts like a governor to hold back the signal's peaks. Increasing this control gradually replaces the brick wall of breakup with a soft cushion of sustain. Moderate settings will keep overdrive on a rolling boil, while higher settings will increasingly provide clean sustain. Hopefully that little blurb from the manual will help explain exactly what the limiter control does. But if it doesn't, don't worry. Just mess with the thing while you're playing and leave it where it stands and feels the best for whatever you're doing. Play, turn and listen is my philosophy. End of story. As for the three cab sim options, well, let's go through them one by one. First up is BRT, which is obviously an abbreviation for bright. And that happens to be a cab simulation of a small, uh, bright sounding speaker. And I happen to use that one for the strap part on the intro. Next up is Norm. Nothing to do with the character in Cheers. Norm is actually a simulation of a normal 12 inch speaker. And that's the one I use for both Les Paul parts in the intro. As for FRFR, this setting gives you a flat full range signal you can use should you want to use some other cab sims you may have instead of the ones within the unit. As for the speaker output, well, as already mentioned, that will give you a tube amp like 25 watts into an eight ohm load. Plus, as indicated on the unit, 4 ohm and 16 ohm loads are okay as well. Also, just so you know, you don't have to have a speaker attached if you don't want to. You can just use the cab sim output live or in the studio. Or if you want, just the headphones when you're noodling at home and don't want to annoy others. <laughs> In case you're wondering, the cab I'm using here is the Quilter Labs Block Dock 10TC, a compact 1x10 cabinet loaded with a Celestian 10 inch TF108 speaker that can handle up to 100 watts. This roadworthy little guy boasts a closed back and can also be tilted up so you can hear it when you're playing on small stages, just like this. Nice. Like any good guitar amp, the Superblock UK plays well with stomp boxes, be they in front of it or in the effects loop. And there you have it, my friend, the Quilter Superblock UK. For more information on this pedal board friendly device or any other Quilter Labs product, please go to sweetwater.com or better still, call your sales engineer and he or she will be only too happy to help you further. Right, the only thing left for me to do now is play out. I'm gonna do so by doing the following. I'm gonna change guitars. And I'm also going to plug in a Tube Screamer and a Phase 90 into the front end of the Superblock. And I'm going to set Set Beast to the JMP setting for good measure. See ya! <laughs>